even at the speed of light, a signal from the spacecraft down to Earth can take anywhere from 65 to 90 minutes. When something is so far away, a small measurement error could lead to a big problem. As an analogy, you can imagine someone standing on the West Coast trying to locate the position of a quarter near the top of the Washington Monument on the East Coast. I think that in some aspects, deep space navigation is at the forefront of navigation, because it's like being the pilot of this spacecraft and allow scientists to learn more about the solar system and the universe. Because deep space navigation is so difficult, scientists and engineers from many fields come together at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California to make space travel a reality. Five major teams share this monumental workload. The first team maps our solar system from the largest planet to the smallest asteroid. The next team plans the routes for spacecraft to reach these distant bodies. As the mission begins, a third team tracks the position of the spacecraft, while still another tracks where it's currently headed. Finally, the fifth team ensures that it stays on course, firing the rocket thrusters to keep to the optimal path. The combined efforts of these teams have enabled spacecraft to visit the furthest reaches of the solar system. But to travel anywhere, the first thing you need is a map. In our database at JPL, we have uh, currently, we are tracking 500,000, more than 500,000 main belt asteroids. We are tracking planets, we are tracking all possible objects. So basically, our role is to calculate the orbits of the celestial bodies. The more measurements you get, the more precise the orbits are. And then we turn in our orbits to the navigational team that uses it to plan trajectories of the spacecraft. The trajectory designers can now plan routes through the solar system, but this is no easy task. The more rocket fuel you bring into outer space, the more rocket fuel you need to escape Earth's gravity. So engineers utilize a technique called gravity assist when designing trajectories. The gravity assist is the main mechanism that allows us to design these very complicated trajectories. Instead of firing our engines to try and change our trajectory, we instead use the gravity so we can increase the energy, we can decrease the energy, fly by in the exact orientation that we want so that we can manipulate the spacecraft orbit to get to where we want to be. With the planning stage complete, the navigation team is ready for liftoff. The craft begins its journey into the heavens. Now the team begins the crucial job of tracking the spacecraft as it moves throughout the solar system. To locate the craft, engineers use two simple yet incredibly precise systems. One is a radio signal from the craft to the deep space network on Earth, and the second is a clock. NASA established the deep space network to communicate with its spacecraft. Their antenna sites spaced around the globe. The radio wave extending to the spacecraft could be thought of as a long ruler, but the markings on the ruler come from the clock. And by carefully measuring this and comparing it to a, a model based on where we think the spacecraft is, we can determine where it actually is. Once the team locates the spacecraft, their next task is determining where it's headed. But this brings with it numerous challenges. Uh, we cannot measure the distances in, in the usual way, you know, like using a tape measure. So what we do, instead of measuring the distances, we measure time. It's like the echo. The farther away the mountain is, the longer it will take the echo to, to return. With that, for a, for a spacecraft that is orbiting a planet, we can tell very well what is the trajectory of the spacecraft. The navigators now know where the spacecraft is and where it's going in the solar system. To keep the spacecraft on the optimal path, engineers design maneuvers at regular intervals throughout the mission. Today, we executed two eccentricity correction maneuvers. These are the maneuvers that alter the shape of the orbit. It's very critical to get all of these maneuvers correct. At Navigation, we have a saying, we like to tell people where they can go. But there is something to be said for that. There's some truth behind it. You have the equivalent of having the steering wheel for an expensive spacecraft that's been designed for a very special purpose. Each mission is a completely new frontier. It's a potential for great adventure. When things work, um, it's, it's so exciting to be involved in a mission in which everybody's excited about. You see little kids that are wearing astronaut suits, and it makes you really proud to be a navigator. <laughs>